Hey, motherfucker. It's that time. We're an hour in. It's been an hour? Yeah. This trip is gonna fly. It's eight hours. Yeah. We're in Huron, Ohio. I've never been to Ohio before. Have you? Yeah. We just drove eight hours to get here all the way through New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania into Ohio. And we're just staying one night here, but it's kind of a cool town. There's a giant lake nearby. Which lake is it? Lake Erie. Lake Erie. So we're just going to explore today. I think there's a skate park nearby too. And then we're going to finish off the road trip. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been to Dairy Queen. Well, really we exciting moment. We zoomed in. <laughs> Wait, first bite. Tastes like ice cream. Yeah, it's ice cream. The rarest of specimen found outside the Dairy Queen. I have a comment question for you from one of our viewers. Yeah, it's for you. Wow. What is it? Is it still a Ollie North if you're facing the West? It is really pretty. Yo, Revive, where you at? I know you guys live here. Time lapse this, yeah. like right now.
so that was a few clips at the Sandusky Ohio skate park it's in a really pretty area right by the water it's 9 30 a.m. right now we woke up early and Nora's on shift to drive us to Wisconsin yeah it's beautiful around here I like Ohio anyways that skate park made me think of a nice little topic for this video like why do cities make bad skate parks basically what I'm talking about is those questionable obstacles like that curved rail that crazy fun box like with the rail in the middle that gives you no room to ollie over it and that insane oververt it was just clearly not designed by people who know how to like space out the elements of the skate park and basically my hometown was building a skate park a while ago when cities build a skate park they have two options cities can use their own construction people to build skate parks and they end up with like stuff that makes no sense because they're not built by skateboarders on the other hand there are dedicated companies like Spone Ranch or California skate parks that cities can pay and hire to build the best skate parks in the world that's what my town ended up doing the Maplewood skate park the obstacles just flow so good they work so nicely and that's the difference between a bad skate park and a good skate park you'll know right away when you show up to the skate park which is which sometimes the cities pull it off I also am a firm believer that there is no real such thing as a bad skate park because even if even if the stuff is placed weird skateboarding is made to skate on stuff that wasn't meant to be skated anyway and you you can find fun in any skate park. So that's what I think. To Madison. Stop. Oh. oh my god. I thought the same thing. You thought you were moving? You guys I'm know like, when you're next to a car that's moving and it feels like you're moving? That doesn't I thought you were happen, moving though. forward. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Me too. I was like, my foot is on the brake. What's happening? <laughs> oh my god. It's like I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. There's definitely like a literal piece of dust inside my lens. Oh. 